All right, so I just finished my newest tutorial on how to make selective adjustments inside of Adobe Photoshop. And wouldn't you know, they came out with a new tool called the Adjustment Brush. So today I'm gonna to make a video on how to use the Adjustment Brush. And look, it's not as straightforward as you think. The Adjustment Brush doesn't do anything new than we've been able to do before. It's just a new way to do it, and it's a little bit more intuitive to learn. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use the adjustment brush inside of Adobe Photoshop. So I've got this wonderful radish that I photographed inside my house the other day. And I'm gonna show you how to tone this or what my process would be by using the adjustment brush and when to use the adjustment brush and when maybe using an adjustment brush isn't as beneficial. So normally I would do some toning or adjustments with this inside of Adobe Camera Raw, but today all we're gonna do is fix the color. So we're gonna come up here to Adobe Color, right? And it's as shot. And I'm actually gonna use the color picker because I know that the background is white. This is a white wall in my house. Right now it's kind of this warm color and I want a neutral color. So we're gonna click that. And what that does is set neutral gray. So if you look up here, we're gonna have some numbers and it's uh, 192, 187, 273. And, and to get a neutral gray, you want all those numbers to be exactly the same. So when I click this, boom, it's gonna set that. And now those numbers are 187, 187, and 188, which is pretty close. So anytime the three numbers are exactly the same or really close, you know you have a neutral gray. So we're good. We're gonna come down here and hit open and send this into Photoshop because really that's what we're gonna learn. So. I have the adjustment brush right over here. It's this little brush with this kind of half moon. Now you can see it's a little pop-up window. Welcome to the adjustment. Now, normally the adjustment brush is probably nested inside of the brush tool. So you would click on this and in here somewhere you should see the adjustment brush. I'm pretty positive that's where they put it. But in my case, I have a custom toolbar. I pulled it out. It's in its own location so I can get access to it. So I have a wonderful video on how to create a custom toolbar. You can get rid of the tools that you don't use and pull out the ones that you do use. So the first thing we're gonna do here is, uh, actually, let's go ahead and get rid of this little ugliness down here. So I'm gonna come up here and grab that patch tool and we're gonna just select that. And so this is just the chair. I had an A clamp clamp to the thing to hold it straight up. I knew that was in there. I knew I could just do that and boom, it's gone. All right, now I have a nice clean image, which is what we want. So I wanna brighten the background a little bit. When I originally photographed this, I was gonna blow this out totally white, but when I shot it, I'm like, I don't like that. But I wanted it a little bit brighter than what it is now. So we're gonna make a selection of the radish because we don't have background selection, but it's really easy. We can come down here and hit select subject, or you can go to select subject here, and boom, just like that, it selects the subject. It's probably not a perfect selection, and if you need to modify that, you can go to select and mask. So the next step is we're gonna use the adjustment brush. So we've made the selection of the radish, but we want the opposite. So we wanna select the background. So you have two options. You can go up here to select inverse, and you can see the quick key, which is what I use. It's one of those ones where I use it all the time. It's Command Shift I for a Mac and Control Shift I for a PC, all right? Or you could just go up there and hit that inverse, but I'm gonna hit Command Shift I and select the opposite, okay? Because we wanna select the background. You have options, and really, I probably would not use the adjustment brush in this case, and I'll show you why. I can simply just click on the curves adjustment because I've made the selection, and then I can adjust that background. It's really easy. Let me step back in time, get rid of that. We still got that selection of the opposite. So when you have a selection with the adjustment brush, if you just click once inside of that selection, it's going to make the mask and apply it everywhere, which is what I wanted, okay? So right here is the adjustment, but it does weird things, all right? It makes this super bright adjustment and it's adjusting all the colors. So I don't know what's up. Why is it doing the colors and making that weird adjustment? So I have no idea. So what you need to do 
is come in here and hit revert. I don't know if this is something screwed up because it's new or this is the way it's gonna be, but I don't care if it makes an adjustment, but why is it doing it in the red, green, and blue? It makes it a pain in the neck. So we're gonna hit reset and then you can make your adjustment. That way you don't have to individually go in and change the red, the green, and the blue adjustments as well. That would like take forever. It kind of defeats the purpose. I made my adjustment, it made the mask. That's one way to use the adjustment brush. I still think it's easier just to click the adjustment, but if you wanna use the adjustment brush, you can click inside of a selection and it will make the adjustment. So we've made that selection. So the next step is to adjust the radish. And look, there's no reason to go through the process of what we did or use the adjustment brush. I can simply just do this. So I'm gonna hit Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC, and that's gonna duplicate the layer, all right? I'm gonna click on that, hit Command I to invert it, and then I'm gonna go into the mask, and then I can adjust that curve. There's no sense in using the adjustment brush just to use the adjustment brush. A lot of times there's a better or a quicker way to do something than using a tool just because it's new. All right, so the next step here is we wanna add a manual brush adjustment. And so I could either darken this or brighten this. It doesn't make a difference, okay? But what happened is that taskbar, the contextual taskbar is gone for some reason. And I don't know why it's disappearing. And this is one of the issues with the adjustment brush. And this is something, hey, Adobe, that you need to fix. It just goes away. So we can get that back a couple of ways. And it's weird. We can click on the background layer and then it comes up. But it doesn't have add adjustment, okay? And that's what we want. We want to add a new adjustment. And it doesn't give us that option. So then I can come back up here and click on this. And boom, now the new adjustment appears again. So I've got curves selected, I've got add a new adjustment, and in this case I want curves, and boom, it gives us that blank canvas to work on. I can come up here, I can paint in this area. Once again, it gives me the crazy curve. I hit reset, and then I can brighten this area. So that's using the adjustment brush to make a manual adjustment, but it's kind of a funky process. Hopefully this stuff will get fixed. If I want to darken this side, I can hit add a new adjustment. I want to use curves again. I apply where I want. It gives me the crazy thing there. I hit revert and then I darken that down. And so that's how the so that's how the adjustment brush works. But you have more options. So if we come up here, we've got the adjustment curves we've got to subtract from an area. So if I hit the subtract, I can paint in here and take away. I can hit plus to add. This is for your brush size. So this little icon that you see up here is for the pen tool. So if you're using like a Wacom tablet or a pen tool and you're using a pressure sensitive tip, that's what that's for. So next to it, we have an object selection to tool. If you wanna see an overlay of what you've done, let me click on this one. You can see there's the overlay. I'll paint up here. I'll hit plus and paint in here so you can see it. So it's showing the overlay of where you've made the selection at. I'm gonna turn that off. Then we have opacity and flow. And really that's how you use the adjustment brush. It's got some quirks right now, but I think as they kind of work through those issues, it's gonna be much more intuitive for students and new people who are learning the program. If you found this video helpful and could give us a thumbs up, that would be great. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And don't forget to subscribe.